IKEA is in some hot water after they have fired one of their employees for declining to attend an LGBT pride event that the store wanted all of their employees to attend. Now, I talked about IKEA back earlier at the beginning of Pride Month in June, where they had said that they were going to be hoisting the LGBT rainbow flag in front of all of their stores worldwide, okay? I mean, this store is dead set. This company is on promoting LGBT rights, and they don't really care if their employees don't agree with that. And as by evidence of this case right here, they will punish you for it. Now, this was a Polish IKEA where this happened, where a man was fired for refusing to attend the event. He actually even went on the, the company's internal communications network and posted Bible verses exclusively forbidding homosexuality and against gay marriage. He put those right on the network. He also posted them on his own social media accounts as well. This is very similar to the Australian rugby player Israel Fallout, who was actually terminated from his contract with Rugby Australia. So this is very eerily similar to that. Now, according to IKEA representatives at the actual event itself, they were encouraging their employees to engage with those who are LGBT in the store, ask them what their preferred pronoun is, and then ask them questions about their partner, their own sexual lifestyle, what they like to engage in, what are their interests. I mean, they wanted them to basically participate and endorse the entire relationship and cater to their every need. Now, when the company found out about the messages that were posted on the internal communications network, they demanded that the employee remove them immediately. And then also he was going to be forced to attend a disciplinary hearing. The, the employee, however, refused to take down the Bible verses, this, that, and from his own social media account. And he says, look, I can't censor God. I am a Catholic, and this goes against my values. You guys hired me to sell furniture, not be an advocate for the LGBT community. It was then a couple of days later that Ikea decided to terminate the employee from the store. And he was even told to gather his stuff up extremely quick. They did not give him much time at all to get his personal belongings and get out of that store. Well, a lawsuit has now been filed. A religious discrimination lawsuit has been filed against Ikea for violating this employee's religious rights. And you know what? I hope he wins this one because Ikea needs to be taught a lesson for what they did. They should not be forcing their employees to have to participate in activities that go against their religious convictions, whatever that may be. It should not happen, okay? Just imagine if this was a Muslim in place of a Christian, what would happen? There would be outrage all over the place for this. But I'll keep you guys updated on this. We will see where this goes from here. But I want to hear from you. What do you think about what IKEA did firing this employee for not attending the LGBT event? What kind of repercussions do you think that IKEA should receive for this? Let me know. Sound off down below. If you enjoy these videos, please consider giving them a like and a share. Also subscribing here if you are new. I greatly appreciate all of your support. Thank you so much for spending a couple of minutes of your day with me today. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I will talk with you soon.